this race more than any other mistakes get multiplied in a hurry. This is all about a combination of speed and great timing and great form. And any little mistake just starts to compound itself as you, especially if you make it early and try to keep your rhythm and keep your step in the hurdles and you don't get much time to make up for any mistakes. This race gets over with in 15 seconds. It gets done in a hurry. And here we go, Rachel Miller from Downs Lakeside hits the first hurdle and over the first hurdle in nice shape. She's in the lead, followed closely on her right shoulder. That's Georgia Hannah off Rand Blue Valley. And it's gonna be Rachel Miller, one hurdle to go. Miller at the tape and Rachel Miller wins gold in the girls 100 meter hurdles in class 1A for her Downs Lakeside School. And Rachel Miller probably headed into that first hurdle, got to it first and uh, from there it was just uh, Rachel Miller all the way to the finish. Well, uh, Miller, Hattasol, and Conway, Afton Conway, just about hit the first hurdle together. And after that, then uh, Miller just started to pull away. Miller, Hattasol, and then Conway go one, two, three, and a really clean race run by Rachel Miller. Now, just very strong, great three-step all the way. Hey, a chance to get 10 points for your team right now if you can come through with uh, a gold medal, not to mention the gold. And in this race, again, that 15 is that magic number. And the best time in here posted by Jalen Stapleton of Mead, who is under 16 at 15.76. She is in lane four, gets the first hurdle and over it in pretty good shape. Lane two, Hill City's Madeline Nelson makes a little bit of a charge, but down over lane four and hurdle number five. This is Jalen Stapleton. Stapleton, one hurdle to go. Heads to the tape is gonna get it. Looks like Chloe McIntyre from Harrington to her right might have gotten second, but a gold medal from Jalen Stapleton who wins gold in the girls 100 meter hurdles in class 2A. Coming straight at you in the purple there in lane four. That is Jalen Stapleton, the senior. Plenty of experience from Mead. Always a strong program. Looking very good, very balanced all the way, driving to the finish. And they've got a chance to do some real damage here. You're looking at wanting to score some points. You've got two people in here, but watch lanes three, four, five, and six. All of them have been under 16, all very close. Yeah, lane uh, two, in fact, under 16. Ashlyn Aikens out of Erie had a good start. Ortiz in lane four getting a challenge in lane five. Kaylee Line, Line and Ortiz. And now out to the outside, Needham takes the lead out of Cheney. And then lane three, Taya Wilson out of Sterling, it appears, has won the gold as it appeared that uh, Needham and Mortez kind of hit, skipped over some hurdles. That was a race that went back and forth to the finish. Wasn't sure who was going to win. We talked about Ortiz. We talked about timing right there. Ortiz just nails that last hurdle, and that kept her from making any kind of challenge. She ends up actually getting fourth or fifth. It was almost a dead heat for fourth place. Schmarsh, Runnell, and Bolden, as Rod mentioned, all under 15 seconds. Though McPherson's Morgan Howard the senior has a little bit of experience on the outside. They sit on the blocks here. 100 meter hurdles into the first hurdle. And that's Jewel Bolden. Bolden asserts herself. Just a narrow lead over Emma Ruddle. And now Bolden. Bolden out in front by about a stride. Nice duel, duel between uh, Bolden and Ruddle. And it's going to be Jewel Bolden. Jewel Bolden will win it. Emma Ruddle gets second here. She gets a silver medal. But we're coming right at us. It appeared that Jewel Bolden just concentrated and knew she had the lead and she just needed to hit every hurdle cleanly. And she did. Smars hanging on for a third place, it looks like. Boy, that was a close. It looked like Ruddle just almost out leaned her, but not. And a standing start. She will use the one handed start. That's a standing start in lane uh, seven. Teresa Engel with two Bishop Carroll standouts to the first hurdle. It's Muff. Muff leading Remsburg. A Muff extends her lead inside Demetri Carter, and it's Muff with Carter and Remsburg. Carter, one hurdle to go, and the winner in Class 5A. Pittsburgh's Taylor Muff wins gold in the girls' 100-meter hurdles in Class 5A as she holds off Maggie Remsburg. The sub-15 second-meter hurdle or ends up from the start really taking a finish and really smooth. She well, you kicks right leg over right leg. All right. Mickey Ramsburg almost starts to challenge right here at about three hurdles from the end. Ramsburg closed the gap a little bit, but just struggles right there a little bit, and that lets Taylor Muff pull away for the win. Blue Valley North's Lillian Shank around a 15.3. She's in lane three. As they get to set to go, good start. Into the first hurdle, pretty close. 
But Keanu Newman actually banged into one, and then lane two ends up uh, stopping after one. Lane five, though, is Gianna Wren, and Wren trying to hold off a challenge in lane three. Lillian Shank, it looked like Keanu Newman out of Junction City's the winner, will check the results. As this was kind of a cluttered race, Rod, there was a lot of hurdles going, skipping in and out. Well, Morgan Armbrust kicks the third hurdle and almost goes down and almost takes out uh, Wilson with her. At the finish, and a gold medal indeed for Keanu Newman.